Xander, uh, how does it feel, man? Uh, you got the KO win, got the knockdown in the first round as well. It was a great performance. Man, um, it was amazing. I gave myself maybe a, a B, B minus. I knew uh, I could have been a little bit sharper on my defense and in my combinations, but it's all part of the job. You live and learn, and I feel like this was a great experience for me. Uh, you were warned about low blows a couple times. Yeah. Did you feel that was uh, deserved or, or was I promise, I promise I wasn't aiming for the low blows, but I guess um, the referee was seeing him low, so we had to adjust. My, my, my team told me, hey, let's go to the head, focus on that, and then we focus on the body. Talk about your patience, man. You knocked him down in the first round pretty clean with the with the left hook, and then it, you know you still kind of waited, picked yeah. your shots, and got him out of there in the fifth. Once I knocked him down, the first thing I did was look at my corner. They told me be patient, have fun, keep doing what you're doing. Um, I really thought that I was gonna get him out of there in the first round, but again, he's a, he's a Mexican warrior. He's a veteran, never been stopped before, and so. I knew he was gonna he was gonna do whatever it takes to survive in there. What grade do you give yourself tonight? A B minus, B B B minus. I gotta see the fight. It was a great performance, but I did a little better than that. <laughs> To be honest, I just got too confident. I forgot that I was in a fight with a Mexican and with a, with a, with a warrior, with a veteran. And um, then I realized, hey, you gotta stay sharp because he's, if, if you don't, he's gonna knock you out and you're not gonna have a fun night. So I went back, I knocked him down, I had patience, and then I just reset again and listened to my corner. And you dropped him the second time because you know the fight was over? When he, when he... I thought he was, I thought the ref was gonna give him another chance, but um, man, he, I, I, I feel like he was done by that time, you know, I was breaking him down to the body and to the head, and um, it was just a, an amazing, an amazing night for me. What do you want to come back? Um, hopefully at the beginning, um, beginning of next year, or at the end of next year, I want to do one more fight, but let's see what Topring has. Xander, well, what did you advance as a fighter? Just what was that again? How far you think you advanced as a fighter? How far do you think you moving up the ladder? We're moving up the right way. We're moving up the right direction, the direction we want. Taking everything step by step. Today was a great performance. We're a veteran that never been stopped. We got the stoppage, and I feel like we're, we're doing the right thing. Xander, how does a 19-year-old celebrate a, a victory in uh, Vegas, brother? Man, um, I'm going to go eat canes. That's something that I wanted to do. I told my nutritionist, so they got me canes, and tomorrow I go get in and out. There it is, man. Primero que nada, ¿cómo te sientes después de esta victoria? Agradecido, feliz y preparado para lo próximo. Después de ese primer knockdown, ¿qué pasó por tu mente? ¿Pensabas que lo tenía o qué pensabas? Si te soy sincero, sí. Si te soy sincero, pensé que lo iba a noquear en ese primer round. Pero también me enteré y, y supe que tenía un veterano que nunca había sido noqueado antes y que sabía sobrevivir allá adentro. Este fue es uno golpe en ese claro. primer round. Eso fue lo que te dio esa, esa conciencia. Claro que sí. Después cuando llegué a la esquina, que la esquina me dijo, vamos a mantenernos. Rapidez y velocidad y lo demás se encarga el tiempo. Y creo que hicimos el, el, el trabajo correcto. ¿Cuáles fueron las claves para que llegara el noqueado cuando llegó? Mira, eh, ser paciente, establecer mi jab y las fintas. Y te preguntaron en inglés, te quiero preguntar en español, 19 años, estás en la pena, ¿cómo celebra esta victoria? Vamos a comer un poco de cakes y ir en out mañana. Oye, y a todas las fanáticas de Aguaripa, tienes que estar celebrando esta victoria, ¿qué mensaje tienes para ellos? Los veo el martes en Puerto Rico, vamos a estar una semana entera con ustedes, los quiero mucho.